Michelle has all of our cameras ready to go, and we're going to go on a tour of some sunrise shots this morning. Yeah, let's start things off in Narragansett this morning, Patrick. Crystal clear blue skies this morning as the sun rises over the horizon. One of the uh, long stretches here of daylight hours looking at Newport from our Viking Hotel Viking camera, and the sky's clear in Newport, and the same goes in East Providence. You can see the water tower at Kent Heights here as the sun comes up over the tree line. So we've got a gorgeous just stay. We'll have sunshine, low humidity, highs in the 70s, really a, kind of a picture perfect June day for us. We'll keep the humidity low again tomorrow, but then the muggy air returns starting on Wednesday and it does last through the end of the week and weekend. As far as shower chances go, we're going to hold off any showers until at least Wednesday night and more likely later on Thursday. Then we've got to keep an eye on the potential for some isolated showers over part of the weekend too. That's a ways away today. We're talking a cool start this morning. The temperature are running anywhere from three degrees cooler than yesterday morning in Smithfield to 11 degrees cooler in Taunton right now. Taunton's actually in the middle 40s currently, so it's a cool start if you're out and taking a walk. You may want a sweatshirt or a light jacket in Providence. It's 53, 48 in New Bedford and middle 50s in Westerly, mid 50s Boston, Hartford at 51. Dew points ultra low for a June day. In the last week, we were talking dew points mid to upper 60s, which were certainly uncomfortable. Well, dew points today staying in the middle 40s. That is bone dry for us. So expect some refreshing air today and tomorrow. Then the humidity will be on the rise for Wednesday and on Thursday. Let's talk temperatures today. We're in the middle to upper 60s by 9 o'clock in the morning. Your midday temperatures at lunchtime, lower 70s, both inland and at the coastline. Winds today out of the northwest initially will turn more on shore. So inland spots will climb into the upper 70s in Providence. Even Taunton and Smithfield should hit highs in the upper 70s. And you'll stay around the lower to mid 70s in places like Newport and Narragansett today. Westerly right around 70 to 75 degrees. And we're still in the upper 60s to around 70 at 8 o'clock in the evening. Winds today on average staying at about 10 miles per hour in the afternoon. Again, coastal areas will see a sea breeze. Inland spots will keep that northwest. West wind sunny and dry at our beaches about 73 degrees for the air temperature low rip current risk today on the bay. We're looking at a northwest wind at about 5 to 10 knots high tides at 1036 this morning. Low tide at 345 in the afternoon. Expect another comfortable night for sleeping tonight. We'll fall back to between the lower and mid 50s, dry and mostly clear conditions. It's all courtesy of this area of high pressure that's been keeping us storm free uh, today and tomorrow, and it'll steer uh, what is left of Cristobal far away from our area. So it came on shore in uh, coastal Louisiana, passing now into uh, northern Louisiana and into Mississippi in the coming hours and days. And then from there, you can see the remnants lifting up through the central U.S. over the Great Lakes and into central Canada. So in the work week, we don't expect any of the remnants of that to be impacting our area. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast. We're in the upper 70s today, lower 80s for your highs tomorrow. Again, keep in mind the humidity is still low on Tuesday, so another beautiful early summer day. Wednesday is a muggier day near 80, and we'll bring in that chance for a shower or thunderstorm Thursday and again over the weekend.